Dear friends, in this video, we will understand the importance of VLSI subject and career opportunities in this domain. First, VLSI, an acronym for Very Large Scale Integration, furnishes the information about design complexity of any integrated circuit by providing an idea of the number of transistors used within any circuit. VLSI is a manufacturing technique used in the development of entire embedded system setups. VLSI comes across a base level niche field that has fueled up a lot many frontiers for further the growth of this industry. VLSI technology has opened up vast avenues for career growth in design analysis, design implementation, computer aided designing, verification, stimulation and testing. One can get the best VLSI jobs and build a successful career in VLSI domain only after attaining the right skill set that are demanded by the semiconductor companies today. Lot of debate is around on job opportunities for VLSI compared to embedded systems these days. Both are interesting fields. VLSI is niche and bit narrow, but after acquiring niche skills, it can offer great career opportunities. In Virtual Learn, VLSI modules covered as per the syllabus designed by JNTU, taught by an expert faculty using cutting-edge technology in graphics, animations and visual effects for thorough understanding on the concepts. Let's watch a sample video. Now we draw stick diagram for this. How to draw? First we will draw two power rails. One is VDD, another one is ground. We take enough space between them and we draw demarcation line, a midpoint for both. Now, no time, P diffusion should cross the demarcation, demarcation line from up to up. Similarly, N plus diffusion should not cross from down to demarcation line. This is the rule. Polysilicon, metal can cross demarcation line. Only P diffusion and N diffusion should not cross the demarcation line. Because it is, now we have to go for P mass transistors, we have taken yellow diffusion. Now for N mass transistors, we have taken green diffusion, green color, N plus diffusion. Now polysilicon. We know very well, whenever we have, whenever we have crossing of N plus diffusion with polysilicon, we get transistor. Similarly, whenever we have P diffusion with polysilicon crossing, overlapping, we get PMOS transistor. So now what is re, what is it is resulting in? It is resulting in two transistors, one PMOS and one NMOS transistors, which is connected to the A. Similarly, now again another polysilicon. Again, now also we have two transistors, one PMOS and one NMOS transistors. Then also we have another two transistors, PMOS and NMOS transistors. Now drains, drain of PMOS has to be connected to VDD. Source of sources of all the transistors down in mass to be connected to the ground. Right? Then inputs and outputs we have to take. So here this are connected. All the sources of all the transistors have to be connected. And uh, drain of so I mean uh, sources of all the things are grounded. And all drains of NMOS transistors and drain of bottom PMOS transistors have to be connected, which is connected to the output. And contact cuts have to be made, where one is from ground to N plus diffusion, again one metal to the another metal, and then output to P plus diffusion, output to N plus diffusion. Like that, we have to connect it. That's how we make a stick diagram for any circuit. Hope you liked it. For detailed subject videos, you can watch on Virtual Learn. The above concepts have been explained clearly with visualization techniques for easy understanding. Sign up at www.virtuallearn.in or download mobile app Virtual Learn 
from Google Play Store right away. Register with your basic details, watch the demo and go for it. It's valid for seven months, accessible anytime, anywhere, on your computer and all Android smartphones. Happy learning and wishing all your very best. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe for future updates on engineering subjects.